one on the allegation uh, the, uh, of 80 million being given to the ANC from Prasa. This has noted and categorical rejected the allegation, claiming that the organization received a bribe of 80 million on a contract to supply locomotives awarded to Swifambo Rail Leasing by Prasa. We place it on record uh, that the ANC has not received any money from Prasa or any of, the, of those contracts or the said company. The, we distance the NC from any correspondence that would have transpired by the protagonists in this matter. We further denounce peddling of the name of the organization by individuals in any proper deals they may have been involved in. Companies and individuals that are duped into believing that they are dealing uh, with bona fide representatives of the NC must report these matters to the ANC to halt the indiscriminate practice that bring the organization to disrepute. The point we're making there is that whoever took the 80 million rand, it never arrived here. Okay. <laughs> it never arrived here. So the ANC has received no 80 million rand. Hawks and the Minister of Finance uh, the ANC echoes the sentiments expressed by both President and Deputy President of the Republic of South Africa on the undesirability of clusters of government seemingly being at war with themselves. Uh, the continued speculation and public spectacle that has resulted from the Hawks investigation into the so-called spy unit uh, at the South African Reserve uh, Services, Revenue Services is hurting the economy it could be dealt uh, better. The ANC reaffirms its unreserved confidence in the Minister of Finance, uh, Comrade Pravin Gordon, and the work of the National Treasury. We do, however, caution them against taking a public posture that seems to isolate them, themselves from the rest of government <coughs> and, and position them as victims to be protected by society from themselves. Society can protect government from itself. Uh, our position remains unchanged. All parties to the dispute are encouraged to cooperate in the investigation. This matter serves no one by being debated in the public domain. All structures of the ANC, including the MKMVA, should not enter the fray as they contribute to the cacophony of noise, which promotes general confusion and the perception of a politically motivated persecution. Government has the responsibility to safeguard the economy by dealing with the matter away from the public lie. So where we are, leaks, MKMVA has no business to enter that fray. And, and therefore we call upon them to stop entering it. It is causing confusion to society. ESCOM and National Treasury. It has been unfortunate that ESCOM and National Treasury have also taken their disagreements to the public domain uh, on matters relating to procurement practices of the state-owned enterprise. The also calls on the urgent meeting between ministers of public enterprise, treasury, and minister of energy to decisively deal with the matter in a manner that promotes public confidence. The point we're making is that it may look as just disagreement between ministers, but when it is in the public domain, it dents the confidence of society on the state and its institutions to be able to deal with problems that they must be dealing with. Organizational matter. ANC noted the call by the NCU League for an early uh, elective conference to, to be convened. Standards of the NC are asked to deal with the calls for a conference as provided by the Constitution of the ANC. The Constitution of the ANC is very clear what should be done. It is not about press conferences, you call for this or that, but that debate is not suppressed. It can be opened in the state of the ANC. And the other thing is that if you call that conference. If the intention is to fight it out and actually uh, smash each other, it's not worth it. If it works towards unifying the ANC 
and providing leadership to the to society, it is welcome. But there are constitutional provisions on how you call a conference that is not normally at the time of a national conference. You don't call it through press conferences and uh, counter press conferences. You see. For those who want to know, you go to Rule 29 of the Constitution of the ANC. Then you will know exactly how it is convened, who is responsible for calling it, when can it be called. It's not press conferences. Thank you very much.